So, we just got in at Salt Pier and spotted this hawksbill turtle floating in the shallows. Then it noticed us and came over for a closer look. A much closer look. What a great way to begin the day. We haven't put out a best of video in a couple of years, and think it might be worth resurrecting to highlight some of the spectacular sea life and share some of our favorite encounters. We've had quite a few lately. Let us know what you think in the comments below. Sticking with Salt Pier for a while, it never disappoints. And we would be remiss not to show off the always reliable schools hanging out under the pier pilings. The closer pilings are in only 15 feet of water. So, great for snorkeling. We also saw a school of blue tang attack a coral head, and then quickly zoom away. This spotted moray eel was hunting in the shallows, while this golden tail moray eel rested in the middle of a lobed star coral. Leslie and I bonded over flamingo tongues 15 years ago, so they hold a special place in our hearts, and my arm. Speaking of Leslie, we ended the dive with one of her favorite creatures, Caribbean reef squid. How do you like those? They were pretty awesome. But you know what else is awesome? Subscribers. If you enjoy these videos, consider subscribing to the Tropic Lens channel. If you'd like to see more best of videos or hear more me, like this video and or write a comment below. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks. Smiley face. Smiley face. Smiley face. This isn't a smiley face. Yellow Submarine has some pretty nice shallows, and if you hang around one place for a while, you may just see a school of bonefish foraging on this sandy bottom. If you don't see those, don't worry. White mullets also peruse the downtown coastal shallows, essentially looking for the same food as the bonefish. We also found a balloon fish resting in some rubble. Oh, those eyes. It looks like a whole universe is in each eye. Out on the reef, a number of Peterson cleaner shrimp were hanging around a giant anemone. We typically see red reef hermit crabs at night, but this one found a breakfast buffet at the base of a lobed star coral. You can regularly spot yellowhead jawfish in the sandy bottom, although they prefer the coral rubble areas closer to the reef. Don't forget to check under the dock. Just like Salt Pier, schools seem to love the shade and protection. And thousands of silver sides can't be wrong. At Red Barrel, we caught sight of what appeared to be an albino black bar soldier fish. We're not sure if that's an official thing, or if this one was an anomaly, but it was a bit like seeing a ghost. This blue parrotfish, in its initial stage, swam close by, but then it saw our lights and quickly turned around. A couple of yellowmouth groupers also kept their distance, but one was nice enough to swim a little closer for a better shot. Okay, so this is not a traditional sea creature, but we love that wetsuit. Up north at Tolo, this hawksbill turtle found a very tasty treat and wasn't the least bit bothered by David and I filming the meal. We were literally shooting it for over 10 minutes. 15 minutes later, it caught up with us for a last swim by before heading up to the surface. We hope it found whatever it was going after. This blue striped grunt found an out of the way day spa and was getting a full cleaning, including dental. Open wide.
It's a longer swim to the reef at Aquarius, so it might be easy to swim past a brain coral in the shallows. But take a closer look. You might just see a few blennies living in it. This skittish golden cone was hard to capture as it dodged between the corals at 20 feet. Oh look, a brown chromis. Swimming over endless sandy shallows is a bit like golf for me. A great shot is enough to keep me going back for months. You never know when you might catch a few frisky box crabs. Just before we ended the dive, Leslie spotted a common octopus on the hunt and called me over. Yes, it does appear to be missing an arm, but fun fact, they can regenerate arms in three to four months. While diving the rock, which is an unmarked dive site situated between Invisibles and Tories Reef, David spotted this one horse eye jack. When I finally got his attention, I was able to point out an entire school of horse eye jacks at about 90 feet. Back on the main reef, a couple of slender filefish were hanging out with a barred hamlet. Despite the photobomb in Creole Rass, David was able to capture a black grouper swimming quickly across the reef. And finally, this could be a needlefish or a houndfish. The darn fish never let us get close enough to be sure. Well, those are some of the highlights from January. We'll leave you with some terrific tidal pool footage of spotted sea hares after a Tories Reef night dive. We do hope you enjoyed this video. As always, if you want to learn more about some of the sea life highlighted here, check out the video description below for links to additional information. Come back next week for a new video. Or, better yet, come to Bonaire and check out the sea life for yourself. You know, in person. Great job, sweetie.